Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Hate 3 crew. Well, let's play for a Cup Series Hot Seat Offer, a Texas Bowler Speedway for the Ryan D. O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. So last race, I got an offer. It was the Xfinity race at Texas 9-1. Settings, same as always with the Cup Series. And, um, yeah, the last Cup race I did was at Martinsville and I got 23rd, which is pretty okay. And now I'm entering into this race thinking that I might have a chance to get a better finish than in the cup race so we'll see what happens Sam we're gonna head straight on to qualifying and see where we start and 23rd okay and we'll see I'm starting 22nd 22nd I'm on the outside watch down to 45 we'll see what happens in the race hello race fans Today, the stars of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series stampede into Texas for the running of the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. In 2017, this 1.5-mile V-shaped oval received a Texas-sized overhaul when a new layer of asphalt was added and banking was reduced in turns 1 and 2 by 4 degrees. Let's head trackside to see if these drivers have mastered this new configuration. Time to go racing on PRN. All right, here we go. Ready to go racing here in Texas. Daniel, Ham Daniel Hamburg starting in the back. And Max Oski starting in the front. I guess we'll see what happens in Texas. All Palmenar, backup car. And we'll see what happens. 17 at stage one, the car is handling okay. And I think there's no, there's no, there's not two omnibus in the field. I gotta double check. Because for, for whatever reason, this game, there's two omnibus in the field. And it looks like there's no second omnibus in the field, which is always good. There's no second omnibus, okay? The last race there were two Casey Canes. I was one of them, so I don't know why. But anyway, we'll see what happens in the second stage. Alright, 15th at stage two. Um, everything's going okay so far. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the final stage. Alright, 21st here in Texas. Let's take a look at the highlights. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of highlights here. Pass for 21st. I made a pass for 20th. And up to 18. Try to get by William Byron, but that was my bad. Uh, 5 for 17th on the seven time champ. Kyle Larson won stage one. I take the checker flag in 17th. Pass for 17th, believe it or not, on KCK. And I want to let you guys know right now, there, there's there's not second AJ, Almond, AJ Allmendayer in the field, so that's nice. I'm the only one. Pass for 16th on Alex Bowman. Made the pass going into turn one. Oh, whoops. Lap 21. Pass for 15th. That's where I end up finishing it in stage two. That's where I, I my trick shouldn't want a second stage. And I fell back. Yep. Fell dropped back to 18th. At lap 45, I take the checker flag in 21st. I take the checker flag in 21st. Not too bad. And Brad Kislaski won the race. And I did get the offer. So Martin Truex Jr. set the fast lap of the race, 30-34. Martin Truex, and, and he led the most laps with 30. On the move, Paul Menard, 38 to 20th. And top break for David Reagan, 10th to 32nd. Alright, so I, I like God, God knows how much money. I did get the offer, so I got the 136000 so, try to get full time around this level. Well, um, yeah, Chase Elliott, I love you. I know you're impressive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for nice and clean out there. Thanks, Dane Hamlin. At least Dane Hamlin knows. Hey, you put the air blonde that you can be new to the series and good and clean race. Thanks, Joey the guy. At least these guys are being nice. Except the others are trying to be pussies. Texas pays out a lot too. I think this next race is Bristol. Yes, it is Bristol for the Xfinity Series. It's only 87 grand, not a lot of money. 
So I'll see you all there, and as always, have a good day, everyone.